so to summarize the physiological finding between pediatric heart and adult heart the normal neonatal and infirm myocardium differ substantially from a healthy adult heart because of this there is limited recruitable short work the compliance of the myocardium is low there is reduced number of alpha adrenergic receptors high resting level of circulating catecholamine immature calcium transport system with limited contractile reserve this becomes very very important given you are weaning off cardiopulmonary bypass or in the post operative period high level of resting tone in the left ventricle and increased sensitivity to beta blocker although the resting performance of neonatal myocardium is greater than adult and older children sensitivity to beta blockade is also greater and only modest increase in cardiac performance can occur with beta agonists like dobutamine or isoprenaline the contractile mass of the heart is effectively reduced resulting in ventricle with low compliance your left ventricle compliance is very low in neonate another important thing is preload augmentation is effective only when the filling pressure is low between 1 to 7 mm of mercury but once the filling pressure exceeds beyond 7 to 10 further increase in left ventricular stroke volume with volume is very very minimal so what becomes important your heart rate as a consequence the neonates are highly dependent on heart rate beyond a filling pressure of 7 to 10 mm of mercury to increase the stroke volume if you look at the neonatal heart your proliferative capacity is too high here you can see the green one proliferative capacity they multiply exponentially and your renewal capacity is very high for the neonatal heart here you can see the multiplication of a cardiomyocyte happening but what happens in the adult heart there is inhibitory signal is very effective and the proliferative capacity is very minimal so there is lot of inhibition happens okay it moves into a off mode okay there is a reawakening of renewed potential so the proliferation is not much but the inhibitory signal helps to overcome the injury so if you look at the adult and neonatal heart it is proliferation is more in the neonatal heart and the inhibitory signal is high in the adult heart coming to calcium the calcium transport system is under developed from the physiological point of view it is highly dependent on extracellular calcium level high dose of calcium chloride or glutenate infusion are needed to achieve normal plasma concentration of ionized calcium and to ensure adequate myocardial contraction this is in total contrast to adult cardiac surgery where intraoperative calcium use has gone into disfavor due to concern of myocardial ischemia and reperfusion injury now coming to pulmonary circulation significant changes happens during the first months of life and this pulmonary circulation has significant perioperative implications particularly in newborn period with congenital heart defect if there is a patent foramen oval or a persistent patent ductus arteriosus your pulmonary circulation will be altered or you have a physiological insert of hypoxia hypercarbia and acidosis the pulmonary blood flow can increase and can you have lot of perioperative implication and there is a decrease in pulmonary vascular resistance and pulmonary artery pressure of birth after birth this is due to your expansion of lung as the child takes a first breath your lung expands and your pvr comes down not only that as the lung expands there is higher partial pressure of oxygen which have a vasodilatory effect on pulmonary vascular resistance and your pvr comes down another important thing is regression of smooth muscle layer in the pulmonary arterioles and all this can reduce the pulmonary vascular resistance